Pastor Dow, Ringo TV, New Breed, which I don't know too much about Ringo TV and New Breed. I seen little, little stuff on them. I seen enough to know that they all are working towards the wrong end. They're not working. New Breed, me or Ringo TV, is it Dow? And I'm seeing New Breed and Ringo TV and them coming together and they working together. But none of them is working in trying to get the people ready for heaven. They are all working for self-glory. They are all working as if they they are down here to live forever. This is what they work is all about. They not concerned about heaven. They not concerned about preparing the people for paradise in heaven. They want to prepare people for paradise on earth. Jerusalem on earth. You can buy land. You can do all that stuff. You can try. But But it's not what the scriptures tell us to do. Keep your eyes on the heavenly prize. Work for heavenly rewards. Work towards eternal salvation, eternal life. The Bible say, came in this world naked or go out of this world naked. We came in this world without, with, without anything and it's certain that we're going to leave this world without anything. Uh, everything down here is temporary. They're not getting this. They're not getting it. They are working for self-glory. It's good to teach the people how to live and how to work together, but they do, they more concerned about trying to do something that will bring them glory instead of giving the people the gospel. Pastor Dow can't do that. And them other guys I'm looking at, they're not headed in the right direction either. I don't think I don't even think those guys are concerned about Christ at all. They're busy working for their own glory. They're busy working for their own imagery. I heard Ringo TV deny scriptures concerning Dow, 1 Timothy chapter uh, 3, concerning bishops. I'll Somebody asked him a question concerning Pastor Dow with those scriptures. He uh, directly said no. (laughs) 
Yeah. That's what he said. I looked at the comment. I was like, no, nah, that guy right. Didn't tell the guy he don't know what he's talking about. That, felt that person was right. Pastor Dow could not get around the scriptures concerning bishops, shepherd, overseer. If the Bible say one wife, then it is what it is. Many people want to deny the scriptures when it concerned the Dow with that. I don't understand how y'all could, how they call themselves men of God. Want to invest in land, invest in all this type type of stuff. Do do all this when the Bible already say life is brief down here. Life is short. Life is uncertain. Don't store up treasures on earth, but store up heavenly treasure. Build heavenly on your heavenly home. They doing it all wrong. From a biblical standpoint, we want to buy land. We want to give our people. That's good. But in the end, at the end of the day, it ain't benefiting. Not biblically. This world ain't nothing. Ain't nothing you're gonna be able to do to isolate people from the corruption of the world. You can't take you can't take it back to pre Christ. You can't take it. We can't take it back to before Christ. <laughs> Trying to do your own thing. And some of them have the same ambitions as thou got. Don't be twisted. Don't be deceived. A lot of them want the same thing that thou got going on. It's a bunch of mess, a bunch of corruption. I heard Pastor Dow say, well, my reputation is still intact. Ain't nothing wrong with my rep." Says who? Not according to the scriptures. Say what you want to say. Not according to the scriptures. The Bible, God word, it lets us know where we're right and wrong yet. My reputation still intact. Ain't nothing wrong with rap. Cause you still got all your women. You still got all those silly women. You still got all those weak men surrounding uh surrounding and supporting you. That's how you ruin it. You got to measure yourself according to the scriptures. There's every man. Examine yourself and see if you're in the faith. Can't measure where you at, your standards with the Lord, on what it looked like around you. <laughs> man. What the Bible say? The Bible say you wrong, you wrong. The Bible say you head down the wrong road. Then it is what it is. What it is. You can't change it. Uh, you can't get away from the scriptures and still think you right. It don't work that way. That's why we have the scriptures. To let us know what we wrong and right. A lot of people don't not looking at the scriptures with the right motives, with the right right frame of mind. That's why they deny scriptures. I'm not that type of preacher. I ain't going to deny the scriptures for nobody. 
I tell you the truth. When it comes to me, myself, I can't bend or break the scriptures to try to make me look right when I'm wrong. I got to accept it. That's why we had the Bible. Our God. Help us stay in line if we're really concerned about eternal life. A lot of them not. They just pose it. Like everybody else. They use the Bible, use religion for a weapon. To benefit them. And to use it against others. So why they got so many why Pastor Dad got so many weak women and men up there following him. They don't know. They don't care. It may seem right, but the Bible let us know what's right and what's wrong. Operating on the flesh. Why the Bible's right, we're operating on the flesh, we're gonna be wrong every time. <laughs> we have to operate under the spirit. <laughs> My reputation still intact. Depending on, yeah, I'm seeing them guys Ringo and New Breed. I never, I see, I've been seeing New Breed. I never took to them. I ain't been too long. Came across this Ringo guy, but I don't like him either. All of them messed up. All of them are messed up. I see this a little bit. You know, just them, them joking deny scriptures too. All of them. <laughs> and they in the world they in the world too world <laughs> man it's bad it's sad the stuff that's going on in the world concerning religion I don't I'm, my channel is not designed to try to persuade anybody and put my thoughts, I just get a people, I just, I just give you the scriptures and, and do show about what's right and wrong based on the Bible. I ain't on here to cut it to nobody. I look at them scriptures with trembling fear and know what I'm wrong yet. I don't try to dis discredit or water down the scriptures to make me feel right. No. They ain't what the Bible for. Pastor Dow guilty. He been guilty of doing stuff. A lot of them calling Dow out for the wrong motives. A lot of them desire what's going on up there. I don't. I don't. I believe God. I don't want that headache. I don't want that burden on me when when uh when judgment comes. 